Hi friends, in today's video we are going to review Charlotte Tilbury's new launch, the Airbrush Bronzer. Now she released four shades, Fair, Medium, Tan and Deep. She also released an eyeshadow quad which is Desert Has and it looks like this and a brush. Now if you are interested to know my thoughts on this product, how these are applied in my face, a comparison with other products and you know my final thoughts then please keep watching now i bought the bronzer and the eyeshadow quad together in a duo and this costs like 102 dollars which is a little bit cheaper than buying them individually you can also buy them individually and each of them like this cost 55 dollars this is 53 dollars i got two shades in the bronzer i got in the shade medium and i also got in the shade tan let's talk about the packaging of this as you can see these are big huge and it looks like a shell a nice rose gold luxe charlotte tilbury's packaging and in the back it looks like this where you have the shade name and all the details going on now each one of this bronzer has a 16 gram weight and this is priced at 55 dollar usd and these are made in italy one important things about this bronzer is you can refill the pan you just need to pop it from here and you can just you know put the refill pan i think she mentioned that the refill pan will be available from i think late in the summer because definitely she want to sell this bronzer with the package first now let me show you guys how this two bronzer medium and tan look side by side now this is how the mediums look and this is how the tan looks uh, definitely i can see there is a jump in shade from medium to tan i would love to have a shade in between but yeah this is what it is talking about the eyeshadow quad this is how the eyeshadow quad look like this is made in italy and this is also priced 53 usd dollar and the weight for this each of the pod is 0.4 gram which is 0.14 ounce now this is how the colors are swatched number one prime number two enhance number three smoke and number four define without further ado let's start applying this bad boys in my face and see how this looks like i just brought you guys a little bit up close and personal so that you can see me applying this bronzers uh, to test this babies to the fullest i have applied only charlotte Tilbury's product in my face i have the serum i have the magic cream and the flawless foundation set as my best and i have only lipsticks in my face right now now i'm going to apply the medium shade in my this cheek and i'm going to apply the tan in my this cheek and see how this goes uh, for the application i'm going to use sonia g pro brush face pro brush so as you can see for medium i have to build this color a little bit but i can still see you know uh, the shade i think in person i can see more than in camera but i'm going to build it a little bit more so that it has a little bit more visibility yes in person i can definitely see more you know color here as i'm applying this bronzer i'm feeling it's really nicely pigmented now this is not my exact shade so that's why it is not showing up but otherwise this is nicely pigmented and uh, also these are very very creamy and buttery the powder formulation is great and as she mentioned that this has the dna of the flawless finish powder and totally i can see that this is really really creamy this is really a nice powder now let me try shade number three tan in my this shake and i think this is a perfect shade for my skin tone and let me see how it's 
pulls on in my skin. Yes, definitely this is my shade. And as I said, like one swipe and this is there. And as you can see, the color so nice, very smooth to apply. It is just, you know, blending inside my skin so smoothly and I'm really, really loving it. I really love a very matte, you know, bronzer because I have texture in my skin so if I'm applying something which is shimmer or shiny you know this does not do good to my skin it just emphasizes my texture but with this it's such a nice it's just sitting on my skin as it it's my own skin and it is just making my skin look better yep so this is how the color shows again I would say this is in person these are looking so good then in the studio light, I'm just going to put a little bit in my neck. She also mentioned that you can do a contour with this shade. So let me do a little bit of contour of my nose. And she was there in the IGs where she was mentioning about all these things. And I was right there to more about to know more about this. So I think for my skin tone this is a perfect shade number three at the tan moving on to the eyeshadow quad this is the color scheme which is my favorite i am a warm tone girl and these are the shades which is what i wear daily like to my work or to wherever it is but these are my most wearable shades and i really love that it is in matte like i love all matte shades for my everyday look and let's start playing with this bad boy so i'm going to start with the first shade which is this one over here prime and I'm using Wayne Goss brush number three. And I'm just going to put this uh, shade all over my lid to make a base. And with the same brush, I'm going to use this shade, which is shade number two. And build this color in my crease. And these are, as I'm applying, I'm finding that these are very pigmented and very nicely it is blending. The next shade which I'm going to use is this shade, which is number three. And I'm just layering this on top of shade number two. And now I am using the shade number one prime on my lid i will use the last shade which is the deep shade in this palette this one i think this is called define shade number four on my lower lash line so i completed the rest of my makeup off camera so i have going a little bit of mascara and eyeliner and blushes and highlighter i am not an everyday false eyelash girl so it's not there now moving on to the comparison of this bad boy with other bronzer in the market i do have with me tom ford i have the mark jacobs the fenty which i really really love and last but not the least the Flimster Bronze and Glow Palette from Charlotte Tilbury. Now, while I was playing with this bronzer, what I felt is like this Tom Ford uh, bronzer comes in 15 grams of product with cost around $112 if I'm not wrong. But this one comes as a $55 with 16 grams of product. So definitely this is a greater value for money. Also, as I uh, mentioned that you can refill the pan and which is just $39. So I think this is really, really a you know, greater value for money when it comes to the high-end bronzer. Talking about the Marc Jacobs palette, this does not pull 
good in my skin. I don't find this shade right for my skin tone. I really need to build this up and while building it up, it makes my skin look muddy. Whereas Charlotte Tilbury has four shades. So you will be getting one or the other shade close enough to your skin tone to be a good bronzer from this brand rather than this one. Uh, talking about the Fenty Beauty, I am in the shade Island Tink and I really love this bronzer. There is a lot of, uh, you know, uh, shade rinse in this bronzer, but I really love this bronzer. So do I am loving this too. Now, lastly, I have this Flimster Bronze and Glow Palette from Charlotte Tilbury. I really love this palette. The entire palette weight is, I think, 16 gram, whereas this one is itself a 16 gram product. Now, this comes with a highlighter and a bronzer shade. For my skin tone, this bronzer looks like a contour shade, but I'm okay with this. But to have a bronze, like skin, like matte, uh, you know, shade, I think this will be still a great pairing with this one. So I love this one, you know, no doubt about this, but I think from now onwards, I'm going to love this little bit more. Comparing Charlotte Tilbury's eye quad, I have uh, Charlotte Tilbury's Pillow Talk Instant Palette with me. I do have the Soft Glam Palette and also I do have Dominic Cosmetics Latte Palette. Again, I'm going to put the swatches, you know, at the uh, end of this video so that you have a longer time to see them. Now, just let me put this palette side by side so that you guys have a, you know, feeling how they look like. Now this is how the Soft Glam palette looks like and this is a side by side look of the Desert Haze palette. And I definitely can see some similar shades in the Soft Glam palette which matches like similar to Desert Haze palette. Talking about the Charlotte Tilbury's Pillow Talk Instant palette, I think these three shades will be a close match with the Desert Hairs palette. This is how the two palettes look side by side. Although I feel the shade over here, the darkest shade in this palette is not there in, in this palette. So if you are just looking for the first three shades, definitely this is a closer match. And the last palette with which I want to compare the Desert Hairs is the Dominic Cosmetics Latte palette. If you see closely, only the first row of this palette is have a similar shades with this one and I think the shade Hazelnut, Caramel, Mocha and Pumpkin Pies has been very very close to this four shade in this palette. And that's all I have to say to compare the Desert Hairs and the bronzer to other palettes in the market. Now let's move on to the final section of this video, my thoughts. Now let's start with this bad boy. I really, really love this. This is very creamy, pigmented. The mattes blends really seamlessly with other matte shades. I really feel this is a great go-to palette. Like if you have a soft glam palette or you have a uh, you know, Dominique uh, Latte Palette or the Charlotte Tilbury's Pillow Talk Palette. I don't think you need this, but like if you are Charlotte Tilbury's fan or a you know, girl like me who love this kind of shade, I think this is a really, really great palette. Also, one thing I want to mention is that this is a really great palette where you just can throw it in your bag and you are good to go. You don't have to carry a palette this big if you this is your everyday shade. Now, talking about this bronzer, you guys by now know that I have really enjoyed this using. This is nicely pigmented. It's buttery, it's creamy, it just gives my skin a skin finish. I have texture in my skin, it does not emphasize that. I really love this. I think this will be one of my favorite bronzer going forward, but I'm going to still play with this guy and you know, I'm loving it. So for me, I really give this eyeshadow quad and the bronzer a two thumbs up. I don't know what Charlotte Tilbury is doing with her matte formulation, but these are really good. 
I recommend both the bronzer and the eyeshadow palette and I cannot wait to use this bad guys more. So if you really enjoyed this video, please do give a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell icon next to it so that you don't miss any of my future video. And I will see you in my next video. Till then, bye.